Southwest Florida, the Escambia County Sheriff is saying a teenager lied about almost being kidnapped. You may remember News 5's Cody Long talked to the girl and her mother earlier this week. Now charges could be filed against the accusers. Cody Long is live where the girl claimed it all happened. Cody, do we know why she would want to file a false report? Well, Roseanne, we still don't know exactly why the report was filed, but the sheriff's office says that teenage girl completely recanted her original statement. Deputies say that she lied about um, coming out here and being nearly kidnapped close to this dumpster near these apartments on Atwood Drive. It hurt me because... It's like I never do like I never did anything wrong to this man. That's a clip from our interview with a tearful 14-year-old Kaija Guyton and her mother. She claimed a man in a white van pulled her in and she kicked her way out and ran for help. It scared us really bad knowing that this happened like so close to home. I mean, we live right there. After an investigation, the sheriff's office tells us the crime never happened and that Kaija did not tell the truth. I think when stuff like this happened, the, you know, the person that's involved should tell the truth. Laura Green and many others here tell us they saw our story Monday and they've been scared after hearing the accusations. I have three grandkids and everything. He's in here telling his sister if you see somebody run, you know, and, and it just bothered me because it's right there on that corner. I reached out to Kaija's mother, LaSonda Clark. She didn't say much, just that her daughter filed the report and she was at work at the time. She said she doesn't know why her daughter lied. I don't know why that would happen. Like, it just doesn't make any sense to me. And now the sheriff is coordinating with the state attorney to determine if they will pursue criminal charges for the false reporting of a felony. Reporting live in Pensacola, Cody Long, WKRG News 5.